وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله غافر الذنب وقابل التوب شديد العقاب وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له الكريم الوهاب وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم وآله والأصحاب أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى the topic that I want to uh, start or the series I want to start talking about is uh, repentance it's uh, secrets wisdom and the path uh, to it my beloved brothers and sisters repentance is wadifatul umr repentance is a job it's something that is required from us every single day of our life as long as we live in this world repentance is demanded from us we must come with repentance and it is وَبِدَايَةُ الْعَبْدِ وَنِهَايَةُ It's your life starts with repentance and it finishes with repentance. Repentance is أَوَّلُ مَنَازِلِ الْعُبُودِيَةِ The first station of servitude is to repent. وَأُوْسَطُهَا The middle path of servitude or the station of servitude, the middle path is also uh, repentance. وَآخِرُهَا Even the ending of the station of servitude is to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So our need for repentance is massa, is very, very, very deep. We are in need to repent so much. The reason why we need to repent every time is because we commit a lot of sins. A lot of shortcomings occur from us. We go short in the commandments of Allah and we also transgress in the prohibitions that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent. Repentance helps us purify our hearts from the taints that come its way and the filth that might go on it. It cleans it from it. The Prophet sallallahu he told us that the children of Adam are always sinners. All of the children of Adam. All of the children of Adam are sinners. The Prophet then said, وَخَيْرُ الْخَطَّائِينَ التَّوَّابُونَ And the best of the sinners is those who repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Ibn al-Qayyim said, he said, الْعِبْرَةُ بِكَمَالِ النِّهَايَةِ لَا بِنَقْصِ الْبِدَايَةِ What really matters is how complete and how noble your ending is rather than how uh, deficient your beginning was. What really matters is how do you end your life? And this topic, I chose it for myself. I wanted to benefit from it, number one, to apply into my life. And inshallah ta'ala, make it a stepping stone to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what I've done is I divided the topic into uh, seven episodes. The first episode is the one that you are now uh, watching, uh, which is the introduction. The second Episode inshallah ta'ala is going to be Ta'rifu uh, at tawbah The definition of tawbah What does tawbah actually mean? Because if you don't understand something You will never be able to come with it And the scholars they say ala shay far'un an To place a ruling on something First of all you have to understand what it means So we have to understand what repentance is What does it mean? And then we can come with it the third episode, inshallah ta'ala, I want to speak about Babu Tawbah. The chapter and the door of repentance is what? Maftur is opened. And the door of repentance doesn't close. It is cl opened until two things happen to you, which we will discuss when it comes, inshallah ta'ala. The fourth episode, inshallah ta'ala, I want to speak about Fadail Tawbah. The virtues of repentance. And I also want to speak about the secrets that are present, the gems, the wisdom that are in repentance. The episode after that, inshallah ta'ala, 
I want to speak about Akhtaa fi baab tawbah Some mistakes that happen and occur from us when it comes to repentance. Some mistakes that we do, which we should avoid if we want our repentance to be a tawbah nasuha, an upright, correct repentance. The episode after that, inshallah ta'ala, I want to speak about masailun fi tawbah important issues related to repentance that a person must know and understand. And last but not least, the last chapter, inshallah ta'ala, what I want to speak about is umurun tu'in wa ala tawbah. Matters that will help you, inshallah ta'ala, and aid you and support you to come with repentance. Things that will help you, support you, and aid you to come with repentance. These are the points and the chapters that I want to cover Insha'Allah ta'ala in this series, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he gives me the aid, the support to be able to articulate this very important topic. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he makes me from those who benefit from it first. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect, it's from me, Shaytan, and Allah and his messenger are both free from it. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik, ashadu an la ilaha illallah, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayhi. Assalamu alaikum. If you're enjoying these videos and you'd like to keep up to date with all of the courses we're going to be running, make sure you head over to amauathome.com.